Welcome back to the show. As promised, we are back to talk about one of the most unique advent calendars you have ever seen. And for beer lovers, it is a dream come true. I am joined by Andy Nita, the owner and founder of Nita Beer Company. Andy, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Uh, thanks, Derek. Andy, uh, give us Good a little bit here. of, oh, it's, it's fantastic to have you. You and I have had uh, a great, great conversation at your location in the, in the past. And I just want to remind viewers about, you know, a little bit of the history behind Nita Beer. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're going into our seventh year now, um, and uh, we're located in the uh, the Colonnade uh, Business Park area. And uh, I originally started uh, the the brewery, um, excuse me, uh, to uh, try and cut down on the uh, the, the cost of uh, my personal um, beer consumption, <laughs> uh, which is, <laughs> and uh, I mean. I also was a teacher at Algonquin College, and uh, when I was there, uh, I was given probably one of the harder courses to try and get uh, electrical apprentices to uh, to engage in, which was instrumentation. And it's one of those types of courses where, uh, you know, you're talking to people who want to work with their hands, you know what I mean, about, you know, how do you measure temperature, how do you measure flow rates, uh, how do you measure pressures, and, you know, it's very hard to get them interested in that. So. I looked at that curriculum and I thought, well, what if we were talking about how to make beer and, um, you know, discuss about, you know, how we would use those variables to measure the manufacturing of beer. And it, it certainly got um, interest from the students. And it also piqued my interest in terms of, you know, maybe I could make my own beer, uh, which uh, ultimately led to, to the situation I'm in right now, it's making beer and having sure. good moment. <laughs> oh, yes. And here, seven years later, a, a successful brewing company. And I, I teased off the top the Advent calendar. You've been doing this for a few years. But uh, this year, you've, you've come up with a really unique concept. Tell us about it. Well, the, uh, the new concept was actually uh, uh, devised by my, my beautiful wife, Bridget. And uh, what we wanted to try and do was, uh, rather than people keep a 2-4 case of beer uh, sitting at room temperature somewhere, or even just in a, in a cold cellar at a, at a temperature that wasn't ideal, was to encourage people to, to break the box down and get those beers in a fridge. Because, I mean, keeping uh, craft beer cold is the, the best thing for craft beer. Okay. So the, uh, the idea was, rather than, you know, asking our, our brewery partners to put their uh, brand labels onto their, their cans, we suggested that they uh, allow us to put on some custom labels where the only information that we're revealing is the, uh, the day, you know, at which the, uh, the beer is to be drank and a QR code. And every day that they grab a new beer, they can scan the QR code and it'll bring them to our, our blog on our uh, Need a Beer webpage, where at that time we'll reveal what, uh, what the style of the beer is and all the other uh, beer details are. So you can see from this particular label, there is a bit of a reveal in terms of uh, the alcohol percentage, so we're we have to make sure that we do those things so that we're uh, we're following all the rules set by right. the uh, the AGCO. But in terms of the actual style, uh, the character of the beer, uh, you know, all that stuff is sort of withheld until the actual day. So it, that way, people can keep the beers cold, get them organized in their fridge, and uh, we we keep that mystery of opening that next door on a calendar to see what it is that you're going to be getting. Your wife is brilliant. I mean, that is just uh, what a fantastic idea. And I know you've changed up the packaging as well, uh, an, an inspiration from your children, right? Yeah, it's just so, I mean, we have three young boys and they're all like these miniature hipsters. And, uh, you know, they've always been encouraging us to, to find ways to be a little bit greener because, you know, they're, they're, they're inheriting the earth from us. So we've offered some uh, different options for, uh, for people when they make their purchase. So um, new this year, uh, people can actually come to the brewery and purchase the calendar. So if, uh, you know, they choose to do so, or if they're uh, local Ottawa, uh, you know, citizens, they can uh, request the, uh, the calendar just to be in a standard sort of flat of beer rather than a fully enclosed box. And so that way we're using uh, less material in terms of providing, you know, transport of the beers. Um, we also have a, a cardboard two, four box, which, you know, you can fully enclose. And then that way, if you want to sort of wrap it up and give it to somebody, uh, under the Christmas tree, or, uh, you want to create some sort of surprise, you have that option as well. And the, uh, the third option is, is pretty Cadillac. 
uh, my wife Bridget again has a, uh, a digital laser, and she's been making these uh, beautiful uh, boxes made out of wood where you can actually uh, take the lid off uh, of a dated uh, uh, beer compartment and pull your beer out. And um, unfortunately, I, was, I wasn't able to get a good picture for you guys, but uh, if you drop by the brewery, we have a, a wonderful example of um, what this is, and it's uh, it's pretty premium. Very and nice. uh, I was pretty impressed with the result that my wife was able to create. Yeah, no kidding. Andy, uh, run out of time, but really appreciate you spending time with us. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, Derek. All right. I should mention, by the way, free delivery in Ottawa. There's a flat fee depending on where you are in Ontario. You can pick them up at the beer store now as well. So visit Meet a Beer's website to find out all that information. We'll be back with more talking mental health in the workplace right after this.